Well, hello everyone! Welcome back to how make vocal things. So, um, I got a few private requests about this. Um, about, it was like, it's a continuation of the glitchy sort of effect, but for more horror aspects for demonic sentient robots, basically. Um, so this one's fun because, uh, Effects like this got applied to uh, some of the animatronics that you probably saw in FNAF. I know Mr. Kellen Goff was really good at doing this with Funtime Freddy. So this is similar aspects. I don't know how exactly he did it, but this is sort of my process of doing it. So here is the original tri-track with the robot effects applied first. I hope you're ready for me because you and I are going to have a great time. <laughs> a little scary on its own, uh, but let's, let's play around with that a little bit. So this is, this is what I had going first. I hope you're ready for me, because you and I are going to have a great time. <laughs> scarier much scarier this is about focusing on polish because intentionally in this one right here I sort of cut the glitches out a little bit so you get a little bit of the D at the beginning so it sounds like die while he's glitching out that's good for horror animatronics this I glitched out first just because I wanted sort of like that he started off nice and calm and I wanted the glitches to accelerate his behavior so brought that whole and then did that little demonic dip at the end. So this one is a little bit more of a strenuous process, so I'll try to retrace my steps here for you all. So, I'm gonna hold the camera here. So we're gonna focus on this part first. So we're gonna get this, and this part right here, because this is the wind up. So just copy that, and do a paste in. And then we wanna get in the middle of these. You kinda wanna like break them up a little bit. So it gives it that like, awesome glitch, so. Yep. And then if you really want to make it sound scarier, go up to Effects, Special, Distortion. You want to try to create this custom bell right here. So I'll leave it up here for a second. So if you're using Adobe Audition, you can get this sort of setup. Then you go apply that. And it's very high. You don't want to do that because that will lead to ear tearing. So normalize it back down to negative three. And that'll give you the nice little... There. So it's nice and harsh, but it's not going to kill you. And then you want the dip, which is a pitch shifter. This custom right here says so negative four on the semitones. So it's not overkilly, like Dark Lord level, but it's good enough to create some sort of discomfort. For me. And then we'll move on to that one. So that's the first half. As you and I. So right here, right here is where you want to do it. Grab it, same as before, get them kind of split up. <laughs> Made him talk. And die! See, now it sounds like die. Creepy, right? All right, so move on to the next one. I'm going to have a This is the one that's, I was trying to figure out what you could do with this one that would sound pretty cool. So I figured grate that G a little bit. Like an actual great effect, not a play on words with the term great, but like give it some grittiness to it. And then you could actually add a little bit more of a glitch, but you don't want to overdo it because if every line ends up sounding like a glitch, it doesn't sound as fun. And then you can go back and do that distortion again, put that on there, and of course normalize it so nobody's eardrums get ripped off. Great stop. And then this one, I stretched this out a little bit because you like heard in the dry tack that it was just like straight. But I figured give it just a little bit of a stretch out but have like those breaks in it. And then this, this one's a fun one. Okay, 
I think we need the full one. I think we need this. So it starts off with the normal F, and then you're gonna go to pitch benda, and you want down a whole step as the effect. So kind of wind back up to his normal voice. So. Yeah. Now, you might have noticed, way back on the, the track I exampled for you with the effects, there's a little extra right here. What's this extra? How about, before I show you that, put that in. I will give you a heads up. This is more like if you want to do more jump scares in your recording when you're doing stuff like this. So, distortion, that. I personally, if I wanted to scare more, I would leave it at that. But for example purposes, we're gonna do you know, and you know what? Pick a fun spot to uh, put this in. Mm, right here. Completely random. This. I like to call the demonic glitch out, where it starts off with the regular, like, it breaks into this, and then it jumps into that. So, <clears throat> instead of explaining, let me just show you. So this is the new product. I hope you're ready for me, because you and I are going to have a great time. There you go. Now you could put that anywhere that you feel like it. You could even put it here if you just want to really just freak out a person. Um, so do that. So. Great start running time. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. So that's a fun one. And I think I mentioned it in the video, but I did get a couple of people asking, What program is this? Why are you using? Answer my questions! Adobe Audition CC. Uh, you can get it, I think, if you want an actual, like, fully... They'll help you out if you have any problems. Support software, fully licensed. I believe it is $19 a month. Uh, in my opinion, totally worth it. So... I would suggest grabbing that bad boy program right now and making some fun noises. All right, but that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. So actually, we'll give this official name. Let's, let's make vocal stuff. Bye.